everybody before I get started in today's video I just like to say thanks everybody for all the support you guys have been showing me throughout the the start of the channel like a year or two ago um and I just want to say you guys are freaking amazing and I love all my legionnaires out there uh if you are enjoying the series don't forget to slap that like button it'd be greatly appreciated you sexy sexy people and, uh, yeah, I'll jump right in. We'll get Eddie and, uh, Mr. Pooh on the move, shall we? Let's do this show. Eddie. Eddie, are you there? This little bat, this little dude is not picking up his radio. Eddie. Eddie, I need, uh, I need some assistance. All right, I guess because Eddie's not here, we should go on and call him up. Let's see. What do we got here? Eddie, are you there? Eddie! Hello! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep! Eddie, I, I've been down here for like three freaking days or something. Where in the freak is the sunlight? I don't know, dude! It's a weird planet! I, I don't know! Eddie, you have high-tech equipment. How the freak do you not know if the sun is revolving around the planet? Um, the sun doesn't revolve around the planet. The planet revolves around the sun. This is why I'm the captain. No, you're the captain because I'm stuck. On, I got stuck on a planet because I crashed. Sounds like you need a better driver. <laughs> you okay? Are you choking? No, but if I ever get back, I'm going to choke you. All right, I think it's becoming daylight. Good, can I go back to sleep? No, you're freaking, for some reason, High Command decided to make you a freaking captain. So no, you cannot go back to sleep. You got to stay awake. Jesus, you need to take a chill pill. Are you stuck on a planet? I just realized I don't have a way back. Yeah, that really sucks, homie. No, Eddie. Well, I got an idea. You should probably proceed to make the items that I gave you or, or that are on that list I gave you. Let's see, items, items, items. Let's see. Eddie, did you really send me down here to make stuff? Do you realize I've been stuck on a planet for how long? Now I'm stuck on another planet? Look at the bright side though, at least you got somebody to talk to now, right? At least I got someone to talk to. This this, this guy is comedic. I... Yeah, Eddie, uh, yeah, at least I got someone to talk to. Son of a hate. Well, how does this happen to me? All right, I'm going to go to those runes that we were talking about. Actually, Eddie, I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to see if this uh, this tower can be taken apart. How's that sound? I mean, if that's what you feel, like's the best option. But just be careful. My readings are giving me some serene signs from the planet. <laughs> like radiation's killing me? No, like the life forms, there might, there might be some that aren't so friendly. When you say not so friendly, what do you mean? Like human sacrifice, I'm going to eat your liver and the sun god is going to be happy with your sacrifice. Great. I've been sent to a planet where people are going to sacrifice me to the sun god. Seems legit. I love it, Eddie. You are such a good guy. I don't know what I would do without a friend like you. You know, it's really nice to hear you say that and finally feel appreciated by my ex-captain who is now my, uh, my subordinate. You're what? You really gotta learn these terms. Oh, you mean your crew? No, I'm not your crew. I'm just uh, happen to be out of. Yeah, you know I hate you, right? No, you don't. You just saying that 'cause you're mad. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back over to that structure, Eddie. I'm just reporting in, let you know where I'm at. I don't care where you're at, dude. Just find something that I can bring back and show that I'm smart. Find something you can bring back, sure. Eddie, are you really trying to get a promotion off of me being stuck on this planet? Okay, look. No. Wait a minute, Eddie. Yeah? You teleported me off the other planet. Why can't you teleport me off this one like you did last time? Yeah, um, I kind of used all the power for the teleporter, so I can't. I don't want to sound like a, like, like, I don't want to sound mean, Eddie, but what did you use the power on? Um, I was watching my favorite shows that I downloaded back from Earth. And, um, I left the TV on. You left the TV? It's a starship, dude. You can't run it down that much. Yeah, I kind of left it on, um, since the start of the trip. Eddie, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay. I might have been zapping. I transported my girlfriend up a couple of times to show her around. It was just an accident. Wait a minute. 
You telling me you transported a girl up to a ship that nobody's supposed to be on but, but military personnel and you have a girlfriend? When did you get a girlfriend? Well, you've been gone a long time. Her name is Susie. Well, I guess I can't hate on you that much. Hey, good job, Eddie. I didn't think anybody would love you. Oh, I don't love her. I gotta pay her every couple of days, but she's really interested. I really like her. Hey, did you just tell me you got a prostitute? She's not a prostitute. She got out of the line of work. Did she get out of the line of work because now you're paying her? Yeah. She said she wouldn't do it if she could support herself. Eddie, she ain't supporting herself, though. You're supporting her. Look, you're just going into the technical side of things. This doesn't matter. It doesn't concern you. We love each other, and we're going to get married after we get... And you know what? I don't I don't care. You know, I really don't care. What about me? Well, the char it's charging. I can get you off in the next six months. Great. Great. Unless I find my own way off, I'm going to be stuck on this freaking planet. Because my captain, a.k.a. the guy they put in charge... I can't believe this. I don't know how they did... All right, let's see. All right, so I got that. It looks like I got to make a wooden pickaxe. All right, we're going to start off and make a wooden pickaxe. All right, Eddie, cool. I'm glad you freaking help out a lot. Okay, I got my pickaxe, but I think I just screwed up. Wait. Okay, cool. Eddie, uh, you didn't tell me I couldn't actually make it, so that's good. Um, You didn't specify. Well, I guess you did. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know. Let's see, put that there, and put the crossbar in here, like so. All right, I got it, we're good. All right, what else do we need? Tools of the trade, we got the pickaxe, we got that. All right, we're all set. Let's throw some of this in here, and uh, yeah, we'll be good, let's see. All right, claiming reward. Okay, dude, I just teleported down some supplies for you. Eddie, how are you teleporting things? I'm just using a little bit of power to get you supplies. Great, Eddie, I'm so happy. You sent me down a node that I can't use until I'm back on the ship. You're such a you're such a smart captain. I don't know what I would do without you. You know, I think you're really starting to see that I could be the best captain ever. I think he's really starting to see that I'm not telling the truth. I thought he would figure out that uh wait, this thing takes forever to eat. Oh my god, look at this. That's what the all right, Eddie, I'm coming up on those ruins. Are you going to be in my microphone so that you can hear me? Okay, just double checking. Just double checking. We got some wild species of cow. It seems to have no udders, and it's got a square blocky head. You have a square blocky head, you stupid. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder how you ever was a captain. No, I'm no idea why they made me the captain. All right, it appears to be the ruins of maybe an old castle. There's beds here. Oh, there's beds here. I'm going to take one. I got a bone and some cobwebs, Eddie. Wait, this base is nice. This might be where we could, uh, we should move our uh, encampment for the night. I'm not sure. It looks very secure, though, Eddie. Scanning the location. I mean, it's rated that it's a positive location, but I mean, there are signs of fecal droppings. That means poop, and uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. Nick. What if something didn't poop there and it comes back at night and might eat you? You know, I, I pretty much hate you now, um, but that made some sense. All right, I found redstone alloy electrium, and it appears to be an apple of some sort. I love apples. Can you bring it back? No, I can't bring it back, Eddie. I have to live down here without supplies. Well, why didn't you bring supplies around you? You know, Eddie, I've been asking myself that for a while now. Okay, I found a book, Eddie. I just found some type of manual. But I, I can't open it because there's nothing in it. All right, I'm going to check this other tower, see if there's anything in here. Eddie, I, I think I'll, we should move here. I'm gonna, If I take the top floor, it'll uh, it'll work well. Plus, we can harvest some of the, the wood from this area, and we can, uh, you, you know, be okay, I think. Yeah, it's some strange language I can't read, so there's no point in taking the book with me. What about the scientific research from it? I think we need it. Eddie, I can't carry it. I'm the captain. I say we need it. Oh, I'm the ex-captain. I say bite me. You can't say that to the captain. The captain is the supreme commander, and you're going to do it. Eddie, unless you teleport down here and, like, get all up in my grill, I ain't going to do nothing. And then again, if you teleport down here and get in my grill, I'm going to beat the crap out of you because nobody's flying the ship. Oh, you're so lucky. I was about to teleport down there and beat the crap out of you. Insubordination. I'm going to have you hung. I really don't think you're going to have me hung, Eddie. 
Frankly, I think if we ever get back to uh, to Earth, they're gonna beat the they're gonna beat the crap out of you. You're gonna get like a hundred lashes, and they're gonna be like, "Wow, I can't believe you you tortured Commander Lance like this." Sure, you think what you want, but I know how this is gonna play out. You are gonna need a lot of things. I'm gonna need a lot of things. Yeah, you're right. I am gonna need a lot of things. Uh, thanks for noticing. I'm gonna need a lot of mental help because you are a freaking weirdo. All right, I've decided to try to make it back to that structure tonight, Eddie, in the dark. That's probably not a good idea. Why is it not a good idea? Why, why do you have something to say against everything? Because it's dark and you might fall. Since when do you care, dude? You got me stuck on another planet. I get off one, I get stuck on another. Okay, you know what, Negative Nancy? I'm going to bed. I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Fine, go to bed. I'll be fine. Don't forget to call when you make it. I'm like your little mom. Uh, uh, uh. I'm like a mom. It's gonna be great. Uh. Okay, go to bed. Uh. Cut your microphone off. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think this will do. We're gonna run in here. Let's see. Secure that door. That door is secure. We need to close up a couple of like spots. Let's see. I'm gonna tear down some of the furniture. Uh, and we're gonna barricade ourselves in. Wait, the second floor is looks uh, okay. The top, the floor that we actually want to stay on looks fine, except, uh, yeah, there's a big hole there. Let's go to sleep and s Eddie, uh, we got a problem, homie. The bed exploded. Eddie? Well, uh, that's not good. Okay. So, the bed exploded, and, uh, yeah, that's gonna, yeah. Wait, I think I can see something off in the distance. Eddie. Eddie! Oh my god, dude. I think I see a temple. There's a temple-like structure. It looks like the pyramids, uh, like in Egypt. Okay, dude, I'm awake. All right, that's good. Eddie, are you there? I'm waking up. I'm just a slow riser. We only got stuff to do, so rise faster. Uh, today, I'm going to make that um, transmitter. Also, that pyramid thing is there. I think I should go over there and check it out. What do you think? I mean, if you want to, it would look good in my report if I was to find a civilization. You did find a civilization. There are humanoids running around. I know there's humanoids running around. You're there. No, I mean, there's, like, humanoids right over there. Oh, my God, there's something over here. Hold on. Uh, Eddie, there appears to be a house almost submerged in lava. Where are they probably shouldn't be at their house there, should they? I, I don't think it was an, a choice, Eddie. It looks like it was an accident. Let me see what's in here. They got cobwebs and mushrooms. Sounds like they haven't been there in a while. Yep, sounds like they haven't been there in a while, but... Oh, God! What happened? Man, crap! I'm sure everything is fine. You just exaggerate. I'm gonna go check out that temple. Maybe they won't sacrifice me to their gods. It appears that the humanoids on this planet aren't very smart. I don't think they built this. Maybe their civilization has been nuked with radioactive waves and they are no longer smart. It's not nice to talk about people like that. It hurts your feelings. I'm pretty sure they just stand around going, uh, uh. Much like our primitive cavemen and you when you wake up in the mornings. Then they're very smart. Nope, they're not very smart. Um, after reaching the top of this thing, it doesn't look as if I'm... It's too dark to proceed, I guess. Okay, I have proceeded. I'm down in the bottom of this place, Eddie. Everything looks a little bit scary down here. I don't see any ways of lighting the place up either. I don't think I should proceed. Uh, I think it could get too dark. I think we should come back at a later date and explore this place. It's a cool looking structure. Uh, what I do think we should do is I should head back uh, over to the structure. I should finish off what we need to do. And we should get off this rock, at least temporarily. I do think we should come back for further investigation. Okay, I mean, if that sounds good to you, it sounds good to me. I'll put it in my report that you you uh, you pitched out. Eddie, I don't think you could put that in the, your report. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll put it in there. Lancey Pooh is scared of the dark. It's not that I'm scared of the dark, Eddie. It's that I can't even see. I might trip and fall and break a leg. And you can't even transport down here to get me. Hey, Eddie, do you think uh, they would care if I kill you? Because that's what's going to happen if you keep talking smack. So I'm going to harvest the supplies to make the transmitter. We're going to get all the supplies we need. And we're going to teleport off of here. All right. So just thought I'd throw it out there. Everything's going to be good. You'll be okay. 
All right, so I think if I add all these like that, wait, 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 I don't, hold on, I messed up. All right, I have our transmitter. Uh, I need to remember how to make the other one. Um, I'm gonna put it in the floor here, I suppose, or actually, I'm gonna set it out here in case something goes wrong and I zap myself, so right there should be fine. Okay, we need the transmitter and the dialer. Well, I'm running out of food, but luckily I think the wildlife here will suffice. So I'm going to go on and uh, I'm going to cook up one of these little local animals. Don't attack the indigenous people. It's a pig. It's got feelings too, so don't do it. Okay, Eddie, I won't do it. Don't you worry about it, buddy. He's going to be fine. Good. And set me up a meeting. With the pig? Yes. I actually think that would be quite uh, quite, quite helpful to, to assess how, um, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll get right on that, Eddie. I'll get you set up to, to visit the pig. Are you mocking me? Mm-mm. Not a bit. All right, thanks for that teleport down of that pickaxe, Eddie. It would have been useful a while ago, buddy. Yeah, no problem. You know, sometimes, Eddie, I could stab you in the eye. All right, everything looks good. All we need is a generator source now. So let's see what we can do. Um, uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Uh, okay, Eddie, I'm going to attempt to make some primitive means of uh, power. By the way, I would just like to thank you for sending me down here with absolutely no way of getting back. What if this planet would have been a desert planet? Then I would have waited six months and came and got you. Uh, or I would have died of thirst. Well, I figured you survived six months on a planet before. It was a lush green planet, much like Earth. I think it was a little bit of different. Why did it take that no effect? But you don't gotta be a jerk about it. I don't have to be a jerk about my life. You could get me killed. It doesn't matter. Wait. Well, shows what you think about me. It's not what I think about you. It's what Starfleet thinks about you. It's what Starfleet... This isn't... What? This isn't Star Trek, Eddie. Well, it could be. Eddie, you ever heard the term choked? Do you know someone to pat you on the back? Nope. Then how does choked have any relevance in this talk? I don't suppose it does, Eddie. But if I get back to that ship and I see you, I'm going to strangle you. I'm going to have to put this in my report. I don't care what you put in your report anymore because I think your report is horse poop. Well, you're just a negative Nancy. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go on and, uh, yeah, start charging up my stuff, you little fruit. Okay, so there's two of those. That's 30 minutes, power source. Okay, well, that part's charging up. I'm gonna build a second one and charge up the other, if that's okay with our fearless leader, Eddie. All right, Eddie, but I think we should, if I ever get off the... Ah, there's a villager here! Is he gonna talk? Does he have anything to say? Um, I think they're just kind of curious about me. They're like, uh, they're like worse than little children. They're like, um... Pedophiles? Pedophiles. Not exactly what I was shooting for, but... Amusing nonetheless. Okay, Eddie, I'm gonna go see if this thing is charged up. So, I'm gonna set the dialer to high. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Or the Pathfinder. There we go. It appears we still don't have enough power right now. Planet A is now the name of this planet. Planet A is now the name of the planet. Eddie! Yeah, how's it going? How did I get back? Um, I'm confused. Well, it appears that you were able to transport yourself back, but uh, you couldn't take anything with you, so you showed up naked, so I had to change you. Eddie, you don't tell me you changed me naked. Well, I can't help it. It's what I had to do. So, um, you're gonna have to go back to the planet and get your stuff at another date. But at least you're back. At least I'm back. That's true. Well, uh, I'm gonna go... I'm actually gonna go back to sleep now, Eddie. Thanks for almost killing me again. Some people don't appreciate the little things. Stupid little freak. I hate that little... Ah, how did I get started on a plan? Down a... Ah! Okay, now I'm pretty sure I saw diamonds. Oh, there they are! Look how many. Oh my god, look how many diamonds. Look how many diamonds. Oh, oh! Look at all the diamonds! Oh! 